Welcome to Pots, Pans, and Pioneers. This is going to be our garden update uh, for June the 3rd, 2015. So everybody's probably sick of hearing about all the rain that's going on in the south. Texas, Oklahoma. I understand Missouri's had some tornadoes and uh, Louisiana. So um, we've just had torrential rains, not like Houston. Um, our house is North Texas, isn't located in North, Te North Texas, can't talk today, but um, our house sits up off street level, so we haven't had any flooding at all. Um, we have had just an enormous amount of rain, and I've lost a lot of my vegetable garden. So we're going to start over, and that's what we do. We're tenacious, and we just start over seeding again. So um, I'll show you what I still do have growing that I think might survive if treated correctly. I've been watching a lot of videos on gardening, trying to see what I can do to revive everything and just get out of what I've already done. Um, my two buckets of potatoes yielded um, probably 10 or 12 potatoes worth eating and the rest were so tiny I just left them in this dirt. So, um, my mother-in-law had some seed potatoes she asked me to grow for her, and they are located in that bucket. And I think they're a red potato. She gave me three seed potatoes, so we're going to see what happens with that. I planted those yesterday. And um, this is some, what I think is garlic, but it could be, it really looks like green onion to me. Uh, when I pulled it out, it was laying on top of my bed of uh, garlic, which is over here. And it was coming out of the ground, so I just, um, without any hesitation, it came out and they look like green onions. And I didn't think they were ready, so I plopped them back in some dirt. These are the bell peppers that, again, came from a video I did on dehydration. And they're, they're still kicking off. I still think that they're going to survive. And these are the sweet peas that I grew. Um, I've got a trellis here that I'm going to try and finagle inside this bucket to get my peas growing and again my onions are still standing tall so I'm not going to touch them until they either fall or you know I just don't think it's time uh, to pull them yet they're dry on the tips so maybe that's something I need to research today um, over here um, the spinach is still doing well it likes this pot it's flowering which I've never seen before so uh, maybe that's an indication I need to probably do something with that this is parsley and I've got some lemon balm or mint in this one um, and the rest of that is just weeds that need to be pulled out um, our yard maintenance people came yesterday so they cut the yard it was so freaking tall um, but I haven't come out here and clean yet um, this is the carrots that I still say. I think they're pretty much gone. We need to move this because carrots need full sun. I figured that out. Um, I watched a video of a girl who said that carrots don't need full sun, but I think they do, or this particular type of carrot that I grew. So we're gonna be moving this container over to the other containers. Um, I've got my dog Bailey out here. She loves to be outside. So, these buckets of basil are still doing okay. I've got two, or th actually, <clears throat> I've got three hanging baskets of basil my mother in law gave me. And that way down there, if you can see it, peeking up is a blueberry bush that I don't know hasn't grown at all. So, my biggest concern is this which is my tomato plants and I've given them some nutrients um, I think I need to loosen up the soil maybe a little bit and irrigate some but I can't tell if they're gonna make it or not um, again we've just had so much rain we did cover them but we obviously we that was just to keep some of the rain out but we've uncovered them and maybe Maybe they're going to survive, and then over there is the um, bell peppers. Let me come over here. Uh, R.I.P. for my squash and lettuce. It's 
just not going to make it and the squash just turned black so just too much water so I'm going to be um, retilling up this soil right here and replanting reseeding and see if I can start over and I've got two sprigs of parsley and also some spinach and this one has a it's flowering it's spinach but it's flowering um, but the moisture with the flies sitting on this soil tells me it's just really moist so I'm gonna till it up maybe add some fresh soil and start over with this if any gardeners are watching if you'd leave me comments on any suggestions that you think I could do that'd be awesome I do research a lot um, I run three companies and I hardly ever have time to really kind of put a lot of time into research, but I try to do it diligently in order to not make big mistakes. Um, and then I have some of my own self-knowledge from learning when my grandmother and grandfather grew their own food. So I do have some. So let's come over here. And my marigolds bloomed. Maybe they liked it. All the rain. The marigolds sitting here on this little cooler they bloomed and I'm gonna try to separate this pot and make uh, more because I think the more you plant this in separate containers the more it grows and I'm gonna be making some cream for eczema my elderly mother has eczema and I'm going to try and dehydrate these and make her some cream for her eczema so um, we added um, we moved actually a fountain from our front uh, landscaping to the back over here it, the pump quit working and my husband is trying a different kind of pump so we moved it back here just so we could monitor it better and um, these are the potatoes I've got sitting in some water to try to keep alive I'm going to try to go ahead and plant them they're, they're trying really hard to stay alive and as you can see there's some little bitty potatoes growing on those roots so I'm going to plop those back in some dirt and see what happens. So that's about all the, this was the um, celery that I planted and the birds ate the tops off and I'm just going to assume that the bottoms have rotted from all the rain and that's strawberries over there trying hard to come out. So. Um, Anyway, that's the garden update. Um, I am going to do a video a little bit about my story and how I've gotten started and what our, my husband and I, our goals are for homesteading. And we are in the process of trying to get our house ready to sell within a year. Um, we both want to retire at 50 and we are <laughs> months away from that. So I want to get out into a place where I have the ability to control what I eat and you know decide on how I'm going to survive the rest of my life in this world and I um, also want to have a piece of property where my children can have a recreational place to go and stay so we are going to be paying cash for our homestead we don't want any debt and so, as you know, that's going to take some planning and, you know, really researching the right place and making sure that we know where we're going. I've had a lot of people email me different links for property, places to look for property, and I've so enjoyed that. Um, I have a favorite now that I go to all the time that you can research farms and country homes and land, and I think... Our main goal is going to be, um, you know, where we can have a view, whatever that view is. Um, I'm not an ocean type person, I'm not really drawn to water as much as I am the mountains. So we'll probably look in the Smoky Mountain area areas or the Ozarks. Those are the, the states surrounding those are the areas we're going to be looking in because where you have mountains, you typically, you know, always have valleys full of water and um, I know the Ozarks offer a lot of water uh, supply, which is a key component of homesteading, as we all know. Anyway, I'm going to be doing a video on our story, giving it a little history on how we got to where we are right now and then where we're headed. And I hope everybody will 
subscribe, share our videos, and keep watching. I've also got some great recipes I'm planning to do. Um, I'm going to be doing some uh, cherry pie, organic cherry pie filling. I'm going to be canning some refried beans, and uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of different things that I don't see on YouTube, trying to give everybody a variety. Um, everybody can see all the thousands of videos on everything to do, but um, I want to offer something different. So anyway, I hope you'll stay tuned. Thanks for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing comments and hearing uh, I get lots of emails from different people that don't really want to comment or my video has been shared and they don't have a YouTube uh, access or a Gmail address to be able to comment on YouTube. So um, thanks again, everybody, for watching. Have a great week. And we are going to be in the 90s all week long. Today is Tuesday. No, Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. We're going to be in the 90s the rest of the week and the weekend. And uh, we have lots of yard work to do. So it's going to be just a blast. Take care. God bless.